no, he brought his sauce. He's got, he's repackaged them, that's fresh. Nick, that's how the music should sound every episode. Yeah, did you see how, how loud and clear it was? Remember when we put mustard? him we put him in a monkey mask so his like his ego wouldn't get too big and now look at him. He's a director level at this company. The sauce monkey isn't. Oh, I didn't do and the intro. And he's a different oh, person. Yeah, we have to do the intro. Oh, sure. Uh, here, you can't read but there you go. Uh, pretend the music's playing. There you go. Just and, use and, the sound thing. Yeah, if anyone's got the sound keychain, just press it a hundred times. Go ahead and press that. Fine. Welcome to Face Jam, the show where we try every new fast food creation to let you know if you need it. You probably do. I'm your host, Michael Jones, right alongside my co-host, Jordan Swears. I'm, I'm this one. Oh. Hey. <laughs> we were easy. Jordan, how are you? <laughs> You're looking at Nick now. Oh. <laughs> I'm right here. Michael was up till 5 a.m. <laughs> Can you tell? I got it, though. I read all the words. Jordan, how the you fuck did. are you? Yeah, I'm great. I'm great. Yeah, we went, yeah we went to Stubbs. <laughs> how are you? I had surgery. Uh, we're at RTX. Thank you all for coming, for joining us here. Easy pop. Uh, excited to be doing a live one. Let's have a Face Jam conversation. Is this a regular episode, or are we just going to put this out as spit and silly? Because I would like this to be a regular episode. It feels like Yeah, it but that's be. just because you're lazy. Now, I will agree with him, and that will be the end of my oh. statement. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so now we know. Yeah. What is this? Oh, thank you. I'm hungry. We eat Thanks, on this Robin. show now? What? Well, it's live special. Oh, my God. And water. Okay. So I, Nick, it could be spit and silly now. With that, with <laughs> it's that true. Addition. Yeah. Okay, so I guess it's a spit and silly episode. I got back to the green room. All the food was gone. The coffee was gone yeah, at 1 p.m. Yeah, they do. You drank cool it all, thing. you greedy little thing. Not all of it. Most of it. <laughs> right, so why ate food? <laughs> so this will be a rare one hour long spit and silly. <laughs> oh. um, they were going to get there eventually, you know, just the way we work. We are the way it is. Uh, if it is to be said, so it is. How's, uh, how's your RTX going? How are you guys doing so far? I'm having a great time. Uh, I barely have seen Michael. I think he's busy. Yo, I got wet this morning. Oh, my God. It's true. I did see that. I was getting so wet. What does that mean? It's crazy because it's so hot. You think you'd like it, but the draft was brutal. Oh, it is. There's it's a, a draft. Cool. Yeah, it's a little cool in here. I yeah. think they put it under a vent on purpose. They did. There's an X on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> It simply marks the spot. Oh. Um, we this have... Is, this is wet. That's yeah, you're dripping. Ma you're making a mess, dude. Look at this. Oh, it's all over the table. Now and now, it you moved his plate, Stop. and now it's dripping Vile. on the table. Um, before we go too, too far, uh, our friend Javier has brought us more shine. Uh, is that is, allowed? It's me. Ooh. It's mead shine something with a wood and I don't know. Um, there's wood in it. Yeah, there's a little piece of wood. Why? Hold on. Flavor. <laughs> that's almost that's bug territory. No, wood is not bugs. Yeah, that's. Uh, you bug. know what? You know what eats wood? Termites. Yeah. You know what termites are? A bug. Right, but that's not bugs aren't in here. This is just wood. Smoke bug wood. food is. No. Well, all right. The monkey wants. Uh, the monkey also wants me to hand this to Michael and say for you. It's ketchup. No. no, it's a giant cup of Heinz marinara sauce. Oh, I saw Heinz and assumed incorrectly. Because who, wanna... who buys Heinz marinara? Here, you go first. I did. He also wanted to give you ranch. Stop. I'm just saying, okay. Have a sip. Maybe don't go insane style. Just sort of. It's going to come out of the monkey mouth and be half gone. Ugh. That was way more than I thought. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> he said, "I'm in space." Are you in this pizza? Uh, no, 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 no. I can see Michael. I can see how you're confused. I can tell you. I'm gonna say 95. Wow, pizza. 95 for the pizza. I'm, I'm hungry. That's good. So, the honey aroma really comes through. Yeah. Wood, not so much. Someone bought me a pretzel yesterday. And you they, did, and they didn't today. And that was so the only thing that you hungry. had. Yeah. All right. How's 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 Javier's? Mead shine. 
It's actually really good. Is it? Yeah. No, it's not too burny. Uh, he doesn't work here smooth. anymore. It's alcohol. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You can okay, stop. Okay, you can stop okay, now. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> is, that a, is that a good grimace? There's only one type of grimace. <laughs> After, after you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's liquor. Whoa! Oh! That's good. I thought, yeah, I thought it was oh, great. The end, is, the end is really nice. Michael drank way too much of that to be um, acceptable. He wants more? No. So, He's going to eat this pizza. Um, so we ate at Stubbs Barbecue. How many people uh, ventured over to Stubbs? Who did their homework? <laughs> nice. Well, Stubbs, you're welcome for the business, first oh, yeah. of all. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Uh, when we went and ate there, the only other people in the entire restaurant are people who were probably here today. Yeah, so, probably um, raised their hands. It was crazy to go into Stubbs, a place that I think we had said we all only went to for a music-like mm -hmm, venue, mm -hmm. and then going, I'm going to sit down and have some barbecue. They are more famous for being a music venue and having sauce yes. than they are being a barbecue restaurant. Yeah, I definitely think it's, uh, it's a sauce place yeah. first. and But yeah, the monkey. And also, only one kind of sauce there. What was that? That was barbecue, I think. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Yeah, why were you confused by that? Oh. I kept asking that. I thought it was a stupid question then. It's a stupid question now. <laughs> they sell more than just barbecue sauce at the grocery store. That's not where we were, though. That's we weren't true. at the grocery store. That's true. Sell tires, don't, let you, don't be fooled. We were not at the grocery store. We were at Stubbs down the street. Is your mouth getting all burned out? No, is yours? It just smells so overwhelmingly like honey. Is it because you poured it all over yourself? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah that's probably... Yeah. That yeah. would be a good reason. Um, would <laughs> you on. like some grated Romano cheese from Olive Garden to counteract that's, it? That's not even sauce. <laughs> got, yeah, I'll take some. He said, he says he's expanding his horizons. I don't like sitting next to the monkey <laughs> because whoever sits next to the monkey gets all of it. You got to <laughs> yeah. talk. That, so sometimes we have to trade off, but when it's my turn, I hate it. That's how it's been at the Rat and Grackle Pub when we're doing signings and stuff. The monkey's unhinged. Something's wrong with him. So he had this little bag of stickers uh, that he was handing out to people, and uh, it came in this, in this little, like, Ziploc baggie, like a little snack It's a bag. sandwich bag. <laughs> kind of like exactly that. exactly like that. And uh, he kept opening it and handing a sticker to people and going, first one's free. We don't know what that meant. <laughs> yeah, we did. But he said it every time. There was never a second one. He said it every time, or, or someone would be walking away, and he's like, don't forget me. <laughs> he'd like slide a sticker over. It was very odd. Uh, Rat and Grackle Pub, love it. That's been a good spot. Love the Rat and Grackle Pub. I ate a hot dog. Michael our got a pretzel. Absolutely. It was our vision when we went, I don't know, how about that? Yep. <laughs> and then uh, the standees that we have so you can take pictures of us when we're not there, great. Now that you, you should utilize. Because you become the Right, you could be the monkey. You can finally be the monkey. You could be this little freak. <laughs> Whoa. All right. This guy comes in so often now what? to do pull-ups. It's crazy. <laughs> is he really? Just, it's, it, and it'll be like, he'll come in, do some pull-ups, leave, come back 13 minutes later. <laughs> do, do three more and leave. Second wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, if you ever want to come on down to pull-up town, <laughs> you can come. I'm, you know, whatever, we're hanging out. And to me, that was like, oh, if I'm in here, but whatever. And then Nick made it his sole mission to go, oh, I only go in there when you're not in there. <laughs> So it's just like Jaren sitting there at a computer going, hello? And Nick just walking in, doing pull-ups, and then walking out. Making That's what he does all the him. time now. Making Jaren watch him do pull Hey, check this shit watch. out. Yeah, Jaren, I'll be talking to Jaren. He's like, yeah, Nick came in here. <laughs> awesome. He walks in and goes, ooh. He does. Um, right, I don't want to waste it. Uh, to keep it going, uh, Stubbs Pinions. Oh. Uh, so I've, I've had the, the stubs, the sauce. Yeah. Uh, I've never, I don't think I've ever been in the restaurant. I don't know if I ever had the sauce before moving to Texas, mm -hmm. but 
probably had it like a decade ago. And it was like, oh, this is pretty good. Barbecue sauce. And I also like their dry rub. They got good dry rub. Ooh. They do, uh, if you do like where you marinade, you could buy like the packages. So I'm familiar with the stubs mm -hmm. and the man in the cowboy hat. <laughs> okay. I and think, then when I think it, that's Mr. Stubbs. When you were saying Stubbs restaurant, I said Stubbs now for eats. Uh-huh. I just kept saying that. Stubbs Stubbs can eat. Stubbs now for eats meats. <laughs> uh and so I went, I'll eat it. Open yep. my hole. Here we go. And you kept saying, Don't say Stop that. Stop saying and I said, that. I'm gonna say Don't it say as it soon as we get there. Don't say if it. They inside. say, How can you help you? I'll say, Whole fill, please. <laughs> That's why and you then, said that. That's why I said that. Yeah. That's why and she was then, so confused. And then Eric was thinking about getting mad, and then the fans were there, and we looked so stupid and unprofessional because he was steaming. Or was it steaming? The, he was steaming about the whole common and losing a tuxedo. <laughs> no, tuxedo's there. Yeah, Here's but the not thing. then it wasn't. I don't that think he had true. lost it yet. And th at that point. Oh, he'd fucking lost it. Oh, at that point, it, I think <laughs> I mean, he was, was losing lost. something. <laughs> What was that, Wednesday? Oh, it was gone. Uh, <laughs> well, you just didn't know yet. That is true. I thought Neil took it, and he, guess what? He didn't. You were living in blissful ignorance. Oh, I Imagine. told Jeff, Jeff, this RTX is going so well, something so fucking bad is going to happen. I'm waiting for the and other shoe to drop. And then you did it. You caused it. And then it. at five on Thursday, Neil went, hey, fellas, where's the tuxedo? And the crowd went wild. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. And then we. Which tuxedo are you talking about, by the way? That's Jackie Chan's tuxedo. Okay. Cha cha cha. There was probably more than one, right? Well, I mean, I'm sure he wore the. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't think that would be a like the. I'm just like, saying, make the. Well, then wh why did they call it the tuxedo? The tuxedo oh. yeah. If there's think, only one. I think in the movie there was one, but in the making of the movie. There I don't was... understand. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, how many gadgets does yours have? Zero. What comes out? Zero. Me, uh, me when I get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about it, and it just does electronic stuff. That's what the movie is. It, like, doesn't really. Well, this movie came out in, like, 2003, and that was, like, burgeoning technology at the time. It was. A tuxedo with wires in it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Welcome to the future. It didn't even light up. No. Hell no. Um, we should keep this moving along. Yeah, please. Uh, you're the host, so... Uh, Doesn't seem like it. I agree. Jordan, let's get to your haiku. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, make sure, uh, after I read this, everyone don't applaud like those crazy Idiots. people over there. Yeah. We want snaps. snaps. Save your snaps. Jesus. Known for sauce and bands but smokes meat like so many. Will Stubbs get a dubs? <laughs> Ugh, I don't like that sound. No. I thought it was gonna sound cool, it made my skin crawl. No, everyone crack your fingers no! at the same time. <laughs> in, in um, Doug Funny, when his sister would snap, it was much louder than that. That is true, yeah. Judy would do that. Oh, that was her name. Not Patty Mayonnaise. No, that's a different person. Do you know about the Dinks thing? The uh, I retroactively. Yeah. yeah. I, Mr. Dink and Dinkelberg and Fairly Odd yeah. Parents. The, the Dinks, dual income, no kids. That's why he oh, always yeah. had stuff that was very yeah. expensive. Yeah. 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 This is before you were all born. So uh, that was Nickelodeon that was, was a channel. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, I gotta explain channels. Okay. <laughs> TV was before Netflix. There was TV. Radio was like a podcast. Opening but. his first restaurant in Lubbock, Texas in the mid-60s, Christopher Stubfield, a.k.a. Stubbs, idiot, didn't open his renowned Austin location until the mid-1990s. Wow. 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 That, one? that one? No. That oh, cool. One. Hang on, hang on. That one opened in the mid-90s, but there was a failed one huh? that opened in 1989. <gasps> you oh. believe that? That's crazy. And that's when he started selling sauce. It was crazy. It's a lot, but we're learning, we're learning, right? I'm teaching you, you're learning. Take this in. Stubbs barbecue sauce and Stubbs, the venue, that's where you eat it whole, and my whole goes, are owned by different groups and in 2017, McCormick Spices, owner of the sauce, sued Stubbs, the venue where I fill my whole, because they were selling Stubbs barbecue at around town and doing, quote, harm to the Stubbs brand. Mm -hmm. The Stubbs settled out of court, so both Stubbs will continue using the Stubbs name. 
So all stubs will remain <laughs> being called stubs. A very good name that when you hear it 10 or more times, it activates you as a sleeper cell. <laughs> I knew it! Oh, the monkey! <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Um, what? <laughs> The spice, what happened? The spice brand McCormick bought the exclusive rights to the sauce, the Stubbs barbecue sauce. Right. And they had a handshake agreement with Stubbs, the venue, that they're going to sell barbecue and sell the sauce or whatever, and it'll be fine. And they can be called Stubbs, and Stubbs is also the barbecue sauce. Eventually, they found out that uh, Stubbs, the music venue, was selling barbecue at Mean Eyed Cat and other places down the road. Oh, they're not but allowed with to other do sauces, that. And they went, oh. you can't do that. We're going to sue you. And then in 2015, no, 2017, I think, they said, uh, you have to change the name, Stubbs the Venue. And so the original Stubbs almost lost the Stubbs name right to McCormick, the spice they, conglomerate. They almost lost it to themselves. Yes. And so eventually they made a settlement, and now all Stubbs can be Stubbs. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> So what you're saying is all stubs are stubs, but not all stubs can be stubs. That's true. It's a rectangle square situation. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But see, you're learning. And again, that's the important part. Do you think the next fact will be less convoluted? God, I hope so. <laughs> stubs BBQ sauce began being sold in stores in 1989 after Stubbs' second restaurant was shut down. Happy 34th anniversary to that bottle of sauce you've had in your fridge for six years that you don't remember buying, but also your roommate said they didn't buy it either because they're vegan. So where did it come from? And what does being vegan have to do with barbecue sauce, dude? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it was just as convoluted. <laughs> yeah, it really was. And you know what? It started out pretty good, and then, I, and then like, it got eric well, do you? What do you mean? When you, That's a fact! When you, when you sit down and see someone uh -huh. on a weekly basis... Yeah. Do they tell you to do creative writing and you just kind of get that out here? <laughs> you kind of do a two for one? <laughs> they say, well, you got some real talent. Do it over there. <laughs> <laughs> I got a great show for you to try out your tight five. Now, I will say, waking up this morning and writing this fact sheet, it was incredibly difficult knowing I had to be at the convention center at around nine to get coffee and get ready for other stuff. So you're getting some real 730 stuff. Um, which is much earlier than I typically write. Michael was working out at 7.30. Did you sleep? Well, it was 8. Did you sleep? Yeah, two hours. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was out with Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> was we, we were out, and I was in a building last night okay. with, with my shirt off for probably about 80 minutes. Oh, my God. And I watched Alfredo's face as he approached through the, the fog, because there was fog. He came up the stairs, approached through the fog, saw me shirtless, and his face lit up like he got a PC on Christmas. <laughs> That's what I was doing yesterday. I got this is to keep me going. Yeah, we got to find yeah, the middle. If he, if he stops, he dies. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I was talking to Jordan this morning about my getting in and then my sleep and my exercise. And he goes, he just goes, you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to shut your eyes and they're never going to open again. You're gonna, and that's going to be it. <laughs> you're going to be like Bender when you turn into a human. You're just going to stop. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, another fact. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Earlier this year's Colorado's... 730, he wrote this. Uh-huh. Earlier this year's Colorado's <laughs> second highest court has dismissed a dentist's defamation lawsuit against a woman who left him negative Yelp reviews following her unsatisfactory root canals where she was, quote, gaslit about her pain. Jo uh, I'm, th Judge, I'm still here. Judge Sherry Fox said that Miss Sullivan's reviews were not defamation. And Dr. Stubbs must drop the case. I got mixed up. This isn't about the barbecue place. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought it. The only way that could have been better is like, why did I write this? Yeah. Why is Michael reading it? <laughs> I just couldn't believe that he was also a dentist. And then I went, oh, he's not. <laughs> 
Oh, it makes we, sense. We learned earlier that his name isn't Stubbs. Yeah, it's Stubblefield. That's fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Stubbs was smart. That was smart to call him Stubbs. I agree. Uh, the final fact, I'm sure, just riveting. It's going to be groundbreaking here. It's going to change everything we know about Stubbs. Stubbs Barbecue is a great venue for music and a medium place for barbecue. That's our show. Thank you for coming. Good night. Did that work? <laughs> They're buying it. Can I get more pizza? Do you, you have more do you, pizza? Do you have more pizza? I don't have any more pizza. You have more pizza? He has sauce you can suck down. I'm that's not going to suck down sauce. If you had pizza ground up in a liquid, I'd suck it down. Ugh. Why? Ugh. What do you mean, why? Because then you could carry it around in a convenient package. What? Run, run me through your day today for what you're like RTX and like what your day, you opened your eyes, it's morning. Yeah, it was very short. <laughs> Two hours of sleep. <laughs> and, I, and I think I don't have time to crawl into my hot tub today to Lazarus. Oh, pit that's... And then exercise um, mm -hmm. because I've, it's already time to go. <laughs> and so I go, well, maybe I'll just do the hot tub and relax my muscles yeah. and not exercise. But then I was like, but I'm doing my son cosplay today. What, am I going to not get my pump? Impossible. You got to look your best. So then I just fought through the pain and broken, brittle bones. Did that for an hour. Took a shower. Drove on over to here. Got <laughs> you dunked. drove over here? What do you mean? How else well, did he get here? Well, Lindsay drove. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, thank God. I was kind of doing this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And but then, then, I, then I got <laughs> here. I had a nice big old dunk tank waiting for me. And I said, they won't hit it. They hit it. Oh, no. They kept hitting it. Every time I went in, I hurt my toe. I kept hitting you my foot. Your... I kept hitting my foot. It was always so startling. I, also, I was holding my phone. I insisted. Why? Because I said, if you make me break it, I'll be mad. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, then Robin gave me a drink. And I said, don't you make me spill my drink. <laughs> it was that. Did you break your phone? Uh, no, it's fine. Did you keep it above water? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, he's not mad, I so it's fine. It but you kept hurting um, your toe? Yeah, then I met someone for a quick lunch. You tried to send him to a place that was closed. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that was a nice um, prank on downtown your Downtown Burger Eric. closed prank on the me, weekends, only me. open for four hours during the day. Catch him if you can. <laughs> <laughs> Monday through, like, yeah. Thursday, 11 to 3. Yeah. You're just looking at it, you go, how are you in business? <laughs> That's insane. We decided that one millionaire goes there for lunch, and he goes, it's me again. I'll take everything. And then they close. There's no other explanation for being open four hours, four days That's a week. A good burger, though. You sent me there. Yeah. I to, son of a bitch. <laughs> Where'd you uh, go instead? The other place you sent me to. <laughs> Taco place. He was like, you tried to fuck me. You fucked me. Where else should I go? You yeah, fucked I did. me. I did. I did. And you're like, I'm looking. I'm looking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking. And they went to, uh, I think, Takero Vaquero. Something yeah. like that. That was pretty good. That was so much better than what we ate here. The pizza? Oh, so no, no, the pizza was pretty good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. We might talk about the food. <laughs> uh, and then I came back here, and then I did uh, Don't Make a Scene. And there was a point, there was a point where... Ify and I were grappling Alfredo, and I just started pulling as hard as I could to try and rip him in half. Rip who in half? Alfredo. Oh. And, and Ify started yanking him on the other side. Did it work? And, dude. Are and there I kept, two Alfredos and I, now? I kept, I kept screaming, if I can't have him, nobody will. <laughs> I'll kill him. And then, and then later, and later backstage, I was talking to Ify, and he was like, hey, he's like, I was just playing around. I looked behind, I saw your muscles flex, and I said, oh, we're going? And so then he started pulling, and I started pulling. I was trying to fucking just rip him in half. He was just getting stretched out. Anyway, Alfredo's so arms the, are weird now. <laughs> but then I had to run to go change into my son cosplay. Oh, that's and then, cool. And then, you know, everyone kind of objectified my body, but I let it happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then I did werewolves, uh -huh. and then I came here. Did you win the cosplay and then I contest? Had pizza. Oh, yeah. No. What? what? They disqualified. Why? Because you work here? Because you're no, too hot? No, because I didn't like fill out a form or something. Oh. But yeah, <laughs> basically that. Yeah. More basically paperwork. That. Yeah, definitely a spit and silly. Yeah. 
Oh, 100%. This one for sure. Uh, we're not on topic at all. Um, I do want to go back to ripping show. Alfredo in half. Do you think you could have ripped him in half and then ripped Trevor in half and then connected them back cat dog style? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. And then it could have just been Trevdo. Yeah. <laughs> Alfredo. <laughs> that. <laughs> That's why I didn't go with that one. Let me just tell you, Trevor is cat and Alfredo is dog. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're you're Winslow. Is that the little mouse? Yeah, thing? you're the little yeah, gremlin that lives in a hole. He's like, you don't know. Yeah. I don't remember his name. Yeah. That's where they really walked. And then didn't they have like a bunch of dogs that they were like Then they had everyone else in the universe that fucking hated them for existing. <laughs> You're in a freak. Like, you're yeah, fucking freak. That, that, you're a freak. That shit was real weird. Where you're nobody. Like, I think them. they're pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're a freak. My grandma hated cat dog. So weird. And it was <laughs> for so that reason. Weird. She's just like, this doesn't make any sense. It's an abomination. <laughs> it's two heads. It's a fucking abomination. There's no, they, they, there's no way for them to reproduce <laughs> or expel waste of any kind. <laughs> Those are the questions you don't need to answer when it's a kid's show. Yeah, that's right. My grandma was from the Appalachian Mountains, and she saw Cat Dog and did not like it. And that yeah. is everything you need that's to know like about the sin against that's God. Like, that's like halfway to a chupacabra. That's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? She went, I seen it. I seen it in the forest. I seen it. <laughs> I, I, I saw the Cat Dog. <laughs> <laughs> and their little mole friend. <laughs> So your day, you didn't win the costume contest. Oh, no. are you, you? And then what? You did this? Did you win werewolves? Uh, I won once. That's cool. So were you the werewolf? <laughs> oh. oh, that's cool. That means yes. Oh. We were asking this question earlier, and this is a nice little tie-in to earlier stuff. When a werewolf becomes a werewolf, do all of his insides turn into werewolf parts? <gasps> like you know what I mean? Like does no, he have to become what, like a werewolf what is that? heart? What? Do I don't know what that means. What? Like a man heart? Does he have like a werewolf kidney or like a man kidney? You know what I mean? Oh. We, well, here's what, here's what spurred it. We, we got a So card. cat dog is just like, you don't need to worry about it. Yeah. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. We found, we got a card from a thing earlier that had a picture of the passport from the werewolf from Twilight. And it, it was like the card had like a picture of his passport. And it said that he's what? a donor. He's an organ donor. Oh, okay. And we went, imagine if you were getting a kidney from this dead werewolf on a full moon. Would it be normal size or would it be werewolf size? How does it I work? I guess the question is where's werewolf full moon start come from? <laughs> right? Can werewolf sue werewolf for like, serving werewolf on other werewolf like, locations? Like, it, isn't, that, didn't, isn't that like... Uh-huh. It's what? like that thing that them two visions was talking about when you take a boat and then when is it not two boats? When, when is it not? Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. No, you summed that up perfectly, actually. <laughs> so the so werewolf? if you take all the organs out of the I'm just werewolf, saying, like, is it still a werewolf? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh. what what triggers the werewolf's embiggening? <laughs> Right? That's is right. It like it's probably a, a separate organ. It's probably so one as long thing. as that organ or or um, I feel like it's all or nothing. Yeah, that hormone is 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 denied. That then, hormone. Then yeah. you don't it's need to worry about your, about your kidney every uh -huh. twenty eight days, like going Bleh. getting big. I think you'll be fine. Mm, do you think there's organs? I don't know much about organ transplants. I, I'm sorry to. Tell you don't you. need to. Uh, yeah, uh, we're we're like, a podcast. Eric, <laughs> Eric doesn't need to know where they're going. Just how much are you paying? <laughs> you, right. Yeah. You let me know. I'll get them there. I don't care who they're for. I don't care how many kids. First they one's go. free, he said. Uh, is there blood in it? What? Is there blood in organ when you get it? Which one? Your, the organ that you get from the werewolf, is it full of werewolf blood? They probably drain it out first, right? Like shake it out. I don't shake you think it's sort of like a clean sheet situation? Yeah. I mean, I don't want any. They hang dry blood. it. Yep. Hmm. Well, this is a lot of pondering about werewolves. Yeah, I'm just sad we didn't come up with an answer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's read about stubs. I feel like they. I feel like it. Uh, I don't think the the organs get full werewolf transformations. I think they get like, maybe a little bit embiggened. They're just slightly bigger. I think it, werewolf is like exoskeleton extrapolation. Mm, plus. The organs. I think the organs the just same. gotta go. Brah, you know, like. I don't Do you think imagine. it's a Grinch situation where the heart grows three times its size? I think there might be. I mean, not all werewolves, but you know. Maybe I think the, the werewolf the nice might ones. be. I think a werewolf might be a Grinch situation. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might be. A I Grinch. think only the nice ones get bigger hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I think the werewolf is mostly in the brain, and that's something to be considered. A brain wolf. Yep. <laughs> okay. 
do you think we should fuck around a little bit? Oh, or? I think we got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I thought we were still in the facts. No, um, uh, we're we're in Stubbs Barbecue Food Rundown. Let me tell you what I liked about. Oh Stubbs. my god. Oh yeah. Uh, we got there. We walked in. We sat down, and the food came right the fuck. Holy yeah, shit! Yeah, they weren't messing around with that. Did fast. anyone else have that experience? Like, it's just it like fast. Two minutes later, food. It was the fastest service I've ever had at a barbecue place for the most medium barbecue I've ever had at a barbecue place. <laughs> It like was medium cooked. Man, no, just medium level of barbecue. This monkey's going fucking ape, dude. He's going insane. You have to look at him sometimes, otherwise he's gonna like. No, I don't have to look at shit. <laughs> I'm just looking at you, fucking wasting away. Yeah, that's what? about it. <laughs> I didn't even stay out till five. <laughs> Hey, it's Eric. I hope you're uh, liking the RTX episode, which was supposed to be an episode, but then turned into a spit and silly. Anyway, this episode of Spit and Silly is brought to you by HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients, seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Look, you've heard us talk about HelloFresh forever at this point, and there's a reason. It's because we all like it. It's good. It works for us. Saves you money, saves us money, which again, the important part for me is saving me money. So I enjoy it. Uh, make your home the hangout place this summer with crowd-pleasing eats from backyard bratwurst bars to tangy key lime pie. HelloFresh Market makes summer entertaining a cinch. It's peak time for summer produce and HelloFresh. Make sure you get all the best picks all season long. Their ingredients travel from farm to your door in less than seven days for quality that you can taste. Uh, you've heard us again talk about this endlessly, how much we eat it, how much we enjoy it. Jordan and Michael are eating it together all the time. I am sniffing at it, enjoying the smells, the flavors that I can kind of get through my nose. They tell me constantly how much they're enjoying it, the way that uh, Jordan can change what he's getting to make it more vegan-friendly for his wife, uh, the way Michael can add stuff quickly for his family. HelloFresh has something for everyone, and that includes you, so go to HelloFresh.com slash FaceJam50. Use code FaceJam50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash FaceJam50. And use code FaceJam50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's from HelloFresh. That's from us. Make sure the FaceJam50 part is the part you use because that's when you help us, which is the most important part of the whole thing. Thank you. Psst. Hey, you want a quick back to school tip for everyone who has to go back to school, which is not me, thankfully? Uh, you can cross everything off your list before the big day with DoorDash. Stock up on supplies and lunchtime snacks all in one place. Get a gold star for going back to school because the first day back is almost here. And so are the long list of essentials that your kids need for class with DoorDash You'll enjoy next-level convenience with delivery in the hour, making it easier than ever to get your back-to-school needs fast. My dad would certainly love that when we were kids and would could not wait for us to go back to school. You can fill your kids' backpacks and their bellies and the pantry back-to-school season. You got to have all these things full, otherwise empty. No good! Shop DoorDash to get everything you need for the back-to-school season delivered right to your door Order now for stress-free back-to-school shopping. Use promo NOBUGS to get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more at the convenience grocery or retail store on DoorDash. That's 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more using promo code NOBUGS. That's right. It's the 501015. That's what we call it. Don't forget, it's code NOBUGS on your next order Terms apply, 50, 10, 15. Don't forget, 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $15 or more code. No bugs. The important part, right? Hey, this last ad is brought to you by Farmer's Dog. This time of year, my whole family is on the go. That includes Tyson, who is a dog, uh, because he's part of the family too. Tyson is an active little dude. He loves being out back. He loves running around. He doesn't know how to fetch a ball, but he does know how, how to like run in circles and investigate and then come back and look at me and then go and do it again. For us to do all this, I do my best to keep Tyson happy and healthy. And that all starts with feeding him the farmer's dog. 
Farmer's Dog makes and delivers fresh, healthy dog food. It's recommended by vets, nutritionally balanced, and made from human-grade ingredients in safe, clean kitchens. Traditional dry or wet dog food options are extremely processed, can use much lower ingredients than they claim, and it's really hard to know the right serving size. Here's the thing about, here's the reason why I've chosen Farmer's Dog more than it just being a, a sponsor here. Nothing should probably live its whole life eating only processed food. And when you think about what you're feeding your dog, it's mostly that. That can't be good for your dog. Really stop and think about what you're feeding your dog. That's why I made the switch to Farmer's Dog. Tyson loves it. Now he knows when dinner time is. He freaks out. He's ready to eat. He loves his fresh diet. He's a little bit older. It's a little bit easier for him to digest than just giving him like, here's a handful of kibble, you're a dog. Give him food that he loves, comes back very happy, very healthy. I've been very happy with it. So thank you, Farmer's Dog, for helping Tyson. Help keep your dog happy and healthy for all your adventures together with the Farmer's Dog. Get 50% off your first box at thefarmersdog.com slash face jam. That's thefarmersdog.com slash face jam for 50% off your first box farmersdog.com slash face jam. Really think about what you're feeding your dog. Really, really consider it. Thank you. Hey, what did we eat, Jordan? Oh, fucking everything. <laughs> <laughs> we got the major plate, which is any three meats and two sides. So we got th two of those, right? Yes, we got two so we could get as much meat as possible. Mm -hmm. three, I think three meats plus three meats. We ate that many meats total. Mm-hmm. And they have seven, so what? we orphaned the chicken, right? Yeah, we didn't get the chicken because of, what was the point? It's barbecue chicken. Why are you getting barbecue chicken? It's don't get chicken if you're going to barbecue. You don't need, get the turkey. You get the turkey. We got the pork spare ribs, Angus beef brisket, turkey, chopped beef, pulled pork, and jalapeno cheddar sausage. Very important to the monkey that this part is correct. Thank you. He's, he's, uh, he's been saying it all weekend to people who are like, I'm going to Stubbs. He's like, hold Jalapeno cheddar sausage. And it's like, oh, that's all right. Jesus they do Christ. also have regular sausage, so. They do. I don't know why you wouldn't it. just really, plus it up, like, to be honest. To me, it's kind of like a spicy chicken sandwich situation. Exactly. Either you like it and you're going to get it every single time or yeah. you don't like it. Mm -hmm. I would never in my life go, maybe I feel like it today. Yeah. You're on the path or you're not. Are you walking the, the path of righteousness or aren't you? out of the way. Okay, you need to know the path, but I know you're in my goddamn way. <laughs> Our sides were hand-cut fries, potato salad, fried okra, and mac and cheese. And he tried last second to cut out your fried okra and order mashed potatoes. Yeah, because there's a he whole conversation about it. And he still tried to order mashed potatoes. And try to. Yes, you yes, did. You were like, mashed potatoes. You said the words, we'll have mashed potatoes. And we were and all we like, all, no. He, Nick flipped the fucking table. It was nuts. Yeah, and then we had to go to a different table. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fried okra guy at uh, all. You weren't. And then um, I will say, this converted me. I really like their fried okra. I thought it was really good. What's he whispering to you? He has a microphone. Uh, he just said, you're goddamn right. <laughs> Why, why did he say that? <laughs> why, though? He really wants me to like fried okra. I, I get the, the cautiousness because... Do you? What, why? What's no, because the fried okra, fried can okra? So, it can be hit or miss. Yeah. Sometimes right, it comes out soggy on the inside. Miss, huh? And I had never had Stubbs's, so I didn't want to recommend something that was going to be bad, and Eric starts lording it over me. That's true. So there's a lot of writing on that. That absolutely, I, just so everyone here knows, that's absolutely what would have happened. If, if the fried okra was bad, Jordan would have And now I get to it. lord it over Eric that he likes fried okra now, and it's all thanks to me. And me. Wow. And, and Nick was there. Great. I help. Hey, man, you got to take your wins where you can get them. You know? <laughs> um, We're not all winning the cosplay contest. <laughs> no one here won the cosplay contest. We all came in like, equally submit, disqualified. I think I needed to submit a video. They said it was like uh, uh, Legally Blonde style. Like if I did like a, like a video essay, Your application. Oh, okay. uh -huh. that's what it was. I didn't have the application form or something. Oh, I'm I, sorry you I, lost. I know, and I was like, I. This is the only reason I've been working out, though. It was just for this. Just for that. Just for that. Can you? Oh, like, yeah. They were like, oh, I thought you were just doing it. I'm like, that's what I just told people, but it was for this. Wow. Like, I was five minutes late because Job made me try to rip Alfredo in half. <laughs> 
I was late trying to pull that man apart. <laughs> Put him together cat dog style. I know. <laughs> you give me that idea now. I'll go back. I'll see what. I don't know what panels I'm on tomorrow. <laughs> and I can try and rip him in half again. <laughs> oh, who's coming to? We have a signing tomorrow. Who's coming to that? <laughs> Boo! Boo! That'll be good. I guess we got to show up, huh? We yeah. have a signing tomorrow. And also, though, uh, as you said, if you're out and about, just swing by the Rat and Grackle. Because yeah. we've been hanging out there. That's where we've been hanging out. It's been good. Sometimes, like, sometimes we appear out just, of nowhere. Just, you know, it's more about us than about you. But yeah. that's fun because you get to watch like we're little dancing puppets. And you go, wow, they're doing the face jam in real life. Yeah, yeah we do. Going, blah, 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 yeah, we do like, little bits. Blah, 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 blah. He, and then, he's doing and then, stuff. And then we talk to someone and they go to take a picture. And then every motherfucking single picture. Picture Nick is four feet over there, like what? And then it's like Nick picture, and he takes one okay. step over. So it's like person, 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 forty-seven feet of space. <laughs> not Nick. It's not like this. It's <laughs> not at all like that. <laughs> he said it um, sometimes. But like after the second hour of pictures, I'm just like, get over here! Now I will say, maybe, <laughs> maybe we kept him in the mask for too long. Yep, yesterday. No, I worry about that sometimes. I don't. Like, he wears it at home for practice. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. He goes up to nothing. his kid and he goes. It's me, it's father, it's father, I'm home. You will imprint on him. <laughs> You're going back to werewolves now. <laughs> Baby monkey. Uh, he was in it for like four hours yesterday, took it off, and he went, I have no concept of time. <laughs> yeah, and, and I will say, like, to his credit, the man commits. Like, I don't think... Uh, uh, like, uh, what, what's it? Method acting. Yes, yes. It's nonsense. I've said, like, whenever someone's method acting, it's like, oh, you're an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's always like someone being an asshole. You're, you're a role player. It's like, what? <laughs> this is method acting. Yeah. This man's like, later, guys. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I think it's part because it is a hell in a little bit. Yeah. Like, whenever I imagine Nick putting the mask on, it's any like, Saw film <laughs> where they have the person with something on their head and they have to, like, and I show that like super flash cut, and they're like, ah! That reminds That's me. That's why I imagine Nick just looking at it. It's like Jim Him Carrey like, putting awful. on the mask in the mask, where he just goes, <laughs> and then he's the monkey. <laughs> he absolutely gets weirder. It's you know when you're like sometimes you're up real late, and maybe till 5 a.m. for some reason. Maybe. And you start going, ooh. He yeah, thrives like silly. on that. Yeah, he thrives on it. This is the 5 a.m. energy all oh. the time. We were, uh, we have the uh, random, like the blind box pins at the Rat and Grackle pub. And yesterday, yeah, we made the mistake. We of doing were doing, a we were doing a thing where it's like, hey, do you want someone here to pick one for you? So then I was get like, the oh, one yeah. you want. So I, they'd be like, oh, you can pick one. I pick one, and you're like, oh, here you go, whatever. And Jordan would be like, oh, what's your favorite color? And do like a bit, like, oh, what's your favorite color? Okay, okay, what, oh, what month were you born? Whatever. And then he picks it. He goes, this one. Oh no, this one. And hand it to him. It was good. <laughs> They would ask Nick to do it, and he would just reach in and go, December. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that he knows what was happening. Here's the other thing, too. He kept doing the bit, and he didn't know what the bit was. <laughs> Here's the other thing. You guys, it's, it's such a, like an elaborate tale. This was all done by the time I got there. Oh, Unless yeah. So, yeah we were in the middle of it. and like, I got I was... there, and I'm like, hey, and you're like, oh, he was doing this thing earlier. Yeah. He's done now, though. Yep. We stopped him from doing that. Today it was Monkey's Choice, where yeah, we came we just call it Monkey's pen. Choice. Uh, we had some stuff left over from, that I found, and I didn't monkey? know if I was supposed to actually give away here, but I did anyway. Uh, leftover stuff from uh, Trucked Up, like a bunch of stickers, decals that were supposed to go on the van, and also recipe cards from the show that people used to cook with, like the literal yeah. props in the show. And so, if if you bought something, we did Monkey's Choice, where he picked something for you. And, and then we would say, it's Monkey's Choice. And he would go, ooh, 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 and then fucking pick one with the sauce on it and then tell them, now you can check it off when you have that sauce. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> what? He said, Why you laugh? Oh, why you laugh? <laughs> Don't hit me. So anyway, you can come and see that tomorrow. Yeah, who knows? Hey, who knows what bit we'll be doing tomorrow? Yeah, we, we it's might just be going this, insane. But you're this close, right? Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, Pretty it's much. this, but we get to stand. Yeah, and there's hot dogs. There's right a hot next dogs. To us. Yeah, yeah. You but can get a hot dog adjacent to us. A guy gave me a hot dog today. It was pretty good. Cat might come by. Cat, are you get here? Get a hot dog. Put sunglasses. Oh, hi, on, cat. And then leave. guys, it's cat. Cat. <laughs> 
Gus didn't know that she worked here. Yeah, because he, he like because yeah, you because you hide her. He just kept saying, "I can't believe you didn't hire her for Face Jam." He was I was like, "Oh, former intern cat. She's a producer now." And he's like, "She is." And I went, "Yeah, for like a couple different shows." What? It was great. <laughs> Cat's been here for months at this point. Right. Yeah. Gus is in the office more than anyone I know. He just doesn't care. Maybe, maybe he took the tuxedo. Oh. <laughs> All right. We got to go press material. Yeah. Here's the press material. You. I can only imagine what we, uh, what it's we pre- it's for the dug press. up for this. For the press. Quote, we are pleased to announce this agreement to acquire Stubbs. Based in Texas, Stubbs is an authentic craft brand with an enthusiastic and loyal consumer base, said Alan Wilson, chairman and CEO of McCormick. Through marketing and innovation, I'm already falling asleep, we intend to build this base, increase household penetration, and expand retail distribution in the U.S. and internationally. The Stubbs products round out the range of grilling products currently marketed by McCormick (laughs) under the Grillmates, Lowry's, and McCormick brands. We look forward to working with the Stubbs employees to drive increased sales and profits for the business. What What the fuck? (laughs) I was just... Dude, I'm... I'm hungry. Yeah. After hearing that, I want to eat there. I, I you think. know, I'm thinking. Can I eat a business? <laughs> what? Wait, what are they? I'm boarding up my house before I, they penetrate me. Can I eat Alan Wilson? <laughs> Am I eating while Alan Wilson or is he penetrating me? <laughs> what is happening? Increase household penetration. <laughs> that sounds like something the Catholic Church it's, doesn't want you to do. <laughs> Folks, I like where he calls it an authentic craft brand with an enthusiastic and loyal consumer base. I've never once thought that about Stubbs, a thing you buy at the store. <laughs> I feel like saying authentic craft and then brand yeah. immediately cancels out the 100%. first two words. Yep. All right, there's another one, unfortunately. Okay. As a result of the sale of One World Foods in 2015, we will now begin a process of phasing out the name Stubbs. <laughs> Stubbs Austin Restaurant Company, operator of the Stubbs Music Venue and Restaurants, told the uh, American Statement, while the name will change, it will be the same owner-operator, same live music, same cold beer, and great food for years and years to come. Parentheses, this didn't happen. (laughs) So they were going to change the name and they didn't? They just haven't done it yet. There was a ruling where they had to in 2015 because they were being sued by McCormick and then, they, and then in 2017, they went, never mind. And that was it. And that's why Stubbs is still Stubbs. So, so we ate at a place that has really nothing to do with anything else. At this point, yes. Like, like it's even far removed from Mr. Stubblefield himself. Yeah, I mean, he started it, and now his face is on the bottle that doesn't have anything to do with... The this sounds like this sounds like an authentic craft brand to me. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I'm just saying. I do feel penetrated. <laughs> <laughs> we can't what? do 13 seconds again. <laughs> I'll do I'll do motherfucking 25 seconds. <laughs> no, okay. oh, no, I'll do a minute of silence. Oh no. No, no, no. We can't uh, get this whole convention hall to be quiet that way. I'll go tell the other people cheering for entertaining content to be quiet. <laughs> We're making a mediocre show out here. And we, speaking of mediocre, let's talk about stuff. Yeah, so we need to talk about the food here. Um, let's just say, for a place that I've never been to, uh-huh. and I didn't have an opinion, it was kind of went. It kind of went. Well, it went down. Yeah, it kind the of. Opinion I didn't have. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> It's lower now than ever somehow. <laughs> it's, it's an odd thing not to go, I thought it would be better. I was told it would be better. I'm going, I'm shocked. I really just assumed it would be better. Than this. <laughs> it's a thing, right? Isn't Stubbs a thing? Stubbs, people, people Stubbs the man Stubbs. is inducted yeah, then, into the, the Hall of Fame of like barbecuers. Yep. Who yes. else is? Anybody cool? I don't know. I couldn't name another one. Oh. So. Sorry. I just, somebody I'm yelled sorry. a name, I'm sure. You, we don't, you don't need to yell it again, trust me. It's fine. Yeah. It works better when you have a microphone. It's, it's good when it goes this way, not when it comes back. Now he's upset. Go ahead. What was it? You said? Don't do it. <laughs> That's right. Oh! Oh! oh bitch. Still didn't hear him. Uh, <laughs> it's only funny when I say you can do it. You can do it one more time. 
Oh, Sweet Baby Ray's. Sweet Baby Ray's, see? Is that worth it? Absolutely it was. <laughs> Absolutely. We got it two all, different things going on It here. only became worth it when you asked. <laughs> Some bullshit. That all Sweet Baby Ray's reminds me. I Big know. Ray was over here floating around. I know it's good, Nick. Good. Thank did you see? Did you see Big Ray lurking in oh, the shadows? I don't Big, know Big Ray was—he's uh, been filming us on and off today. Big Ray, Big Ray is, is uh, the opposite of a sweet baby Ray. Yeah, that's true. He's Big Big Ray. He's—he's he's been face jam adjacent for some time. Oh, a long time. Yeah, now. He was on the road yeah. trip. He yeah. trucked up with us. If you see Ray, he has a sleeveless shirt on. He's holding a camera and he has kiss tattoos on his uh, shoulder. So you can say hi to Big Ray. Uh, he's a great guy. He anyway, stole the food. He gave me five dollars to say that. What? He's like, hey, plug me up there. Oh. <laughs> I was like, for you, $10. <laughs> All I got is five. Uh, I, you, you can get me back later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nick wants to talk about his sunglasses. All right. Oh, what about them? Oh, Ray stole them. You what? have to talk into the microphone. Ray stole them. Why? Your working ones or your broken ones? Yeah, your broken oh, ones. Oh, so now he only the microphone. So now he only has broken sunglasses. Don't what? worry. We'll get them fixed. Okay. So, oh, man. And those are sh those are shady rays. Okay, so if you now this is super on brand with Stubbs. So anyway, fuck Stubbs. Uh, you know, shady rays, super cool sunglasses. Uh, they're they're here today. There was a bit of a fiasco when we got a couple. I lost mine, uh -huh. then I lost Nick's, <laughs> then I found mine, uh -huh. then I didn't find Nick's. Yeah. Uh, but then instead of going through like getting it returned or like, like, you know, replaced re very replaced. easily. Right, right, right. I went, I'll just buy another one because I don't want to do that. Right. Going against the own, my own ad reads. <laughs> where I say it's so easy. And I go, uh, but it's like, they're going to be mad. We didn't pay for it. We didn't pay for it. And this guy ruined it when I took him and lost it. <laughs> so I just said, I'm going to do a clean break. I'm just going to buy him a new pair mm -hmm. and I'll get a nicer one. And that comes with a cool case. And I got him that. And then he broke him. Wait. But now the dilemma is, he, I go, we'll return him. He goes, I can't. You bought him. No, oh, yeah. So I have the receipt. Can we take it over so to I'm, Shady Ray's? I think we're going to go over to the Shady Ray's booth with my phone receipt. Can we, can we gonna go, we're going to go tomorrow. Show them. We can, yeah. And give him his broken glasses. Hey, what's up? Can you replace this? Can you replace this now? <laughs> These broke. Can we have some? Do usually, have they, don't e they, kind? they don't even ask for proof, usually. But you have it, so they, I can look be, it up. You don't need to look it up. I'll look it up. No, we have till tomorrow. Till, you can look it up tomorrow. But, I can, but I'm looking it up now. <sighs> Jordan, what did you think of the food? So... Oh, let's, let me see. I, I thought it was mostly okay, but the thing is, if you're gonna be barbecue in Austin, if you're gonna be barbecue in downtown Austin, you gotta be better than so many other places, because you can go literally down the street. Why are you showing me this? <laughs> Fiona just sent it to me. It's a video of Michael shirtless in a pink-hued club, just standing there flexing. <laughs> At request of many people. They all wanted it. Many they all people. wanted it. And I they all want I it didn't now. film the video, Eric. What time do you think that was? Can you read the metadata on that real quick? Uh, what's, what's that? <laughs> you, can, you can say no. No, it's like, uh, I'm going to guess about 2 a.m. Uh, well, maybe 1.30. Uh, Could be 3.30. Yeah, no, it wasn't. They closed at three. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that part of the story. Uh, but it, you can go down to 12th Street, and there are the two best barbecue places in the world, mm -hmm. Franklin and Micklewaite, and just go there instead. Yeah. So just by comparison already, it's going to be tough. And I was giving them kind of a benefit of the doubt because it's like, well, at least they found their niche, you know? They. Mm -hmm. They got the uh, the rubs and the sauces and stuff. Turns out that's a different company. Yeah. So there's really no excuse for them being this bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it is probably the definition of mid. Uh, well, but mid okay, to, hang on. Mid to poor. On. Go ahead. Like mid or like new mid mid. New new mid new mid low right. Well, what I think mean mid. I'm I thinking really mid. don't like it, guys. <laughs> I I'm, don't like that mid became slang for a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. The it is in the goddamn middle. The face jam definition of the word is basically forgettable. Yes. And wow. that's how I mean it. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's something I'd like say we definitely take for granted, but should in Austin yeah. of just like most barbecue is very good. There's places yeah. that are better than others. There's like the heavy hitters like Jordan mentioned. Mm -hmm. but, even, but for the even, most part, it's like S tier, S 
two. Yeah, you or know? like A. Or it's like, yeah. oh, this place... These things aren't that great, but the, some some place always has something good. Like yeah, the sausage you can always is get fucking good. great there. Like the ribs are okay, the brisket's okay. The good the sausage thing, is great. The good thing at Stubbs is the banana pudding, though. Banana pudding. Wow. Yeah, that was go go for dessert. Stubbs was like a place where everything was fine. If someone was like, "I gotta get one thing," I would not tell you what to get. No. Nothing yeah, stood no, out. Yeah. Like it's this thing. It and again, the banana again, pudding. again, everything else by comparison just makes it look worse. But um, if you go to Stubbs and get the fried okra and the banana pudding, let me tell you. What an yeah, insane meal you would be eating. But but you would not leave totally disappointed. No, I think you'd be confused. I think you'd be really confused. You could probably put the okra in the banana pudding. Please don't put the okra in the Oh, I pudding. will say this. Give credit where credit's due, Jordan, because you're the one that pointed it out, too. The banana pudding, the, the wafer. Homemade wafers. Yes, they the were homemade. Were good. Yep. And you could tell immediately because they were like much crispier than Yeah, usual, crispier, not stale. Which was a little scientifically engineered because the wafers sit in the, pu- in the pudding and usually they get soggy. And these were sog-free. Sog-free so again, is the way to be. Some of the, the pudding technology and put that back into yeah the pudding gets like a 93 for me right okay it was very good and yeah. then, okay that's that's a great score for the pudding the thing we're not scoring oh. so what is the score for stubs it might seem high but again this is in I comparison like we're be on the same page 72 oh, same wow dude exact same page this is like we've hammered some shit it's good yeah, right if yeah, this yeah. were barbecue in new jersey it would be the best barbecue <laughs> i feel the same way if it was people barbecue would, in san diego i'd be like yeah. you guys you got to eat this and he's like this is crazy yeah uh 67 okay it's still good barbecue yeah. there's it, no reason to eat that it. reminds me of a story uh that i heard Go just on now. just just yesterday Go about off. a guy who he started a barbecue uh trailer at Oddwood ales here in austin uh, he's from Egypt originally, and apparently he decided to move here after he visited Austin and went to Rudy's uh-huh. oh, wow. and loved it so much. She was like, I got to move to Austin and learn how to be a pit master. Oh, that's cool. He ate Rudy's, which is fine as well, but it's not the best. Mm-hmm. But that it's just goes to show. It's better than stuff. Yeah. It's, oh, it's yeah. better than uh, It's definitely better than stuff. This was an average but score of 69.5, and I find that to be high for what we ate. Yeah. Well, you're allowed to have wrong opinions. Oh, yeah, I was actually. That's why not, I it's around. you guys. Actually, judge it. he's not allowed to have an opinion. That's at true. All. That's, that's true. That's true. That's uh, true. I'll give it yeah, that. Just, it's still just look, like the audience. Look again. I'm not from here, and so barbecue is always unless it's this tastes bad. It's gonna get high. Yeah. It's good. Just shut up. put the meat. I feel like I've only had like put the meat in my whole <laughs> truly fill me up. I've only had truly, big, Jordan. truly bad barbecue once, and it wasn't in Texas. I have had so. bad barbecue twice, and it was at the same Rudy's, and I was like, oh, this one's no. off the list. Oh, was it around Austin? No, or? it was yeah. like one of those road Dallas. trip ones. Yep. 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 Yeah, and it was like, careful. this brisket is not good for the first time <laughs> ever. And yep. then it was a couple months later, we were doing road trip, and we are like, man, remember the last one came here, and it was bad? And we are like, Jesus, it's bad again. This, is, this has never happened to Rudy's before. Fool me once. Mm. Shame on you. Pull me twice. Pull me. Really yeah, fuck again. You. Really yeah, fuck me you. again. Where'd you uh, go? Where were you? Welcome to the snack attack portion of the show. Of Spittin' Silly? Yes. This snack was su- suggested by Jordan Swears. No! This is called... Remember when I was telling you about those really gruesome uh, cramp relief things that Alex was Can I have doing? the rest, though? Because I yeah. seriously need these. Yes. So this is called Hot Shot. This is how I'm going to fuck Crush up muscle soreness. Stop muscle cramps. If you have watched any soccer, yeah, what your or football right known worldwide, uh, Dude, if you spray? Uh, if like you mace. get a if you get a muscle cramp, this is supposed to be so hot that it stops your brain from feeling the cramp. I don't know what that means. Well, I'm not, I don't want this. It's meant to overwhelm the nerves in your mouth and throat so that you don't feel the cramp. It's mace is what it is. It's literally like... Yeah, but like, you drink it. Right. Hey, or muscle cramps. Hang on, though. Hang on, though. Mango. 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 If you watch videos of the athletes taking the shot, you would think, I'll just... I'll deal with the cramp. That's cool. Because <laughs> they just go, ah! <laughs> we got this off Amazon... Jordan was like, do you think this is even a thing we can do? And I, I said, I don't know. Do we need a prescription? Yeah. Is it like a spray? I don't have like, no idea. Drink, Avo- I think it's avoid contact with eyes. Thank you. Yeah, great. You showed me a clip of this when you were explaining yeah. it. And it's, a, it, it's like a clip of an athlete getting it, but there's like a sports cast over it. Yeah. And the caster's like, doesn't, doesn't look like she liked that. <laughs> what do you think, Nick? 
Okay. Okay. Hell's okay. Nick I likes it. it. He's in. Suck Nick, it down. Nick, you go, go first. Down. I'm opening Nick, mine. Nick, go ahead. Uh, are we going to overwhelm ourselves? This might be how you die. It does smell like mango. <laughs> it's, oh, hang on. Nick likes it? Well, yeah. let's cheers. Let's do the hot shot. I can't open it. Uh -oh. This is the, this is like the fucking MREs again. This is, okay. it smells so much like, like not mango, well, not like fake mango. It smells like There's mangoes. a little bit of like peppermint or cinnamon yeah. at the end though. And hey. I think that's where the hot stuff is. Uh, to RTX. Hold Cheers. On, on. Uh-oh. Hang on, Nick started yelling, uh-oh. Yeah, he's reading the side, which is really what we should be doing. It uh -huh. says, drink a bottle of hot shot 15 minutes before exercise. Okay. At the first signs of a cramp. Nah, forget that. No, Let's go. Comma. Let's drink. First Cheers. Signs of Cheers. Hey guys, no! welcome. Woo! Whoa! Wow! I will say it's like uh, no cramps. It's like super hot cinnamon. It says mango, but it's like yeah, it's, it's like, cinnamon. It's like big red gum. It is, yeah, just like a whole bunch of it. But it also at, feels like... At first it um, was like mango with tahini, and I was like, this is nice. Yes. And then it got worse, and it's going down my uh, esophagus, it and like, it's burning it all the way down. It feels like there's pop rocks on my yeah. tongue, but um, I think it's just my taste buds exploding. I have acid reflux. Do you think this is going to be good for that? I, I, think, <laughs> I think it will start it. <laughs> yeah. My heart's going faster, or it's stopping. Oh, do you want? There's two more in I'm here. I'm gonna take them you, home. You want to take them? Yeah, there, it's um. I mean, think about it as like a pre-workout where you chewed it. It's in my stomach it now. It's it. it. in my hot. chest. I can feel it oh, going it all the way down. Oh, guys, we're right. Stomach. Hey, there's cinnamon in it. Yeah. <laughs> We're so smart. Uh, Jordan, Holy fuck, Jordan's I, wife was reading the ingredients earlier, and some of them are covered up, and she's like, hope nobody's allergic to anything. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Holy shit, what? I said milk. I don't know. I like, but you've overcome that. that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will say, Nick is still reading this fucking label. It's seven words. You also drank it already, dude. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, too late. Move on. Oh, my God. So what would you rate the hot shot? I'll be honest. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If that's going to, like, kill a muscle cramp, I say these professional athletes that are getting paid millions of dollars yeah. to play at a physical level I could never dream of are being fucking babies. <laughs> So you're saying you're more powerful than literally every soccer player in the I'm world. I'm not saying it. It's just I proved it. It's true. In front of these people here at RTX. <laughs> Easy. 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 Um, so what would you give it a score if it's like food? <laughs> you sounded never Pain. more dumb than Pain. in that moment. <laughs> Are you sure? Because he said he said stubs sued stubs. No, and I know stubs. what he said, but like, uh, look. Yeah, as a as a treat, it's not as not a, a treat, treat, not very as, treat. As, as, as a, a delicious it, little treat, it's it's a, it's a, a, it's a treat. Like, it's twenty three. If it's hey, you got a cramp, you could quit now, or you could hot shot. Yeah, finish that fucking squat. And then lift Iffy up on your fucking shoulders the next time you see him. I'm sucking this hot. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you think? What number? 99. Whoa! And Jordan gave it a 23. What? <laughs> I think our scales are wrong. Average score of 61, which is almost what we rated Stubbs. <laughs> almost as good as Stubbs! It's this, I will say, I'm not saying it's better. It does have more flavor. Mm -hmm. It definitely does. Oh, this and tastes... And it was w way this, more of a journey as well. Yeah, yeah, way more taste than anything at Stubbs without the barbecue sauce. Well, which, the which pudding, again, they only pudding. had one, and it was Stubbs, and they. And now I understand. Now you know why there's only one barbecue. I just sauce. can't believe that it was a thing, and it was so. I was like, whoa, well, we'll never go there again. <laughs> <laughs> Shane told me that the gospel brunch, or the yeah, gospel brunch on Sundays is pretty good. Yeah, the, they apparently, apparently they have music. breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, probably also, also Yellow Card is playing soon, so check them out. They're gonna play Ocean Avenue, seven more songs, and close out with Ocean Avenue. Wow. <laughs> A lot of yellow card fans here. <laughs> uh, we didn't think that was a crossover. Yeah, I think we did it. Um, if you want to send a snack in, you can. We are always accepting snacks. Uh, you can send them to Face Jam Care of Eric Bedore. That's me, 1901 East Can you spell Street, that for me? Austin, Texas. Can, <laughs> some of us can. Uh, Austin, Texas, 78723. Uh, other business. How is RTX? It's great. Good. Great. Um, you can follow. July 7th through 9th. Be there. <laughs> Follow at oh, Face Oh shit, Jam it's Pod. my brother's birthday today. Oh really? 
Uh oh. Yeah, we'll get to it. Yeah. Um, Whatever. Put you can the bottom there. <laughs> follow at Face Jam Pod to stay up to date with everything. Spit and silly. Is, is this show right now? It's still is this show. So face yeah. jam There's no will be way next week. this is coming out as a face jam. Um, <laughs> Ain't no way. See, that's we adapt. I'm gonna see. If it, I'm gonna see if we get in trouble for this, but um, we are adapting food court into a video show. Good, good which answer. Which one's food court? <laughs> So if you want to send in your food conundrums, you can. You can email facejampod at roosterteeth.com. Uh, let us know what we should solve for you, uh, final verdict style. We are working on it. It is... Well, you're not working that much on it. I'm working medium on it. Jordan and I was like, pop, pop, pop. Big ideas. And Eric was like, great, I'm just going to punch this up. And it's like six months of just punch-ups and rewrites. I just, well, it's because everything he every writes time, Every time like, we go, how's the deck on that new uh -huh. uh, yep. food court show? Mm -hmm. and, he, and he goes, exterior, day. And we're like, <laughs> you no, know, this is this it takes is place it's inside. Taking, this is why it's taking so long. Uh -huh. um, it sucks so much to have to take the blows for that when I want this thing to start so fast and <laughs> yeah, we can't I, do I, it. Drag um, your feet I know, more. but... But you but will this is take funny. The blows. Yeah, thank you. Right. You'll take uh, the blows. This is revenge for when you got mad at Larry. <laughs> he shouldn't have asked me questions while my dad was telling me I didn't have a hotel. And pick up your grandparents. She asked both in wheelchairs. He didn't <laughs> tell me that. <laughs> when did my grandparents get in wheelchairs? Yahtzee. Jesus Christ. Anyway, Face Jam Food Court coming soon. <laughs> video version on Rooster Teeth. It's uh, going to be great. Also, the pizza was pretty good. Don't go to Stubbs. Just eat the pizza. There you go. Get the it pizza. Was, it was rate, much subscribe, better. Rate, subscribe, tell a friend about the show where we eat food and rate the food. Goodbye. Thank you.